subscribe to our channel click on bell icon you never miss any update hi i welcome you to the concept of roles and responsibility of software test engineer okay so this video is a generalized video even if it is automation or manual a lot of parts will remain the same your responsibilities will be same so depending on your experience uh, level you know that responsibilities may change right a test lead responsibilities are different a test engineer responsibilities are different and the project owner responsibilities are different everyone has their own responsibilities roles and responsibilities so here the listed responsibilities or the responsibilities what i am providing here are generally for the 3 to 4 years experience people what they do generally in their uh, process okay that is i am trying to explain you okay yes it generalized for testers next the very first thing you are going to read the requirements requirements is a raw material as i said in the previous video right requirements are raw material that is what you need to understand right understand the requirements grab as much as possible that is the first thing okay so you may get this requirements as frs you may get this requirements as use cases you may get this requirements as your user stories whatever the format it may be guys right you need to understand that requirements clearly this is part 1 okay after understanding the requirements clearly what we need to do next we need to derive some test scenarios test scenarios are nothing but major test condition first you need to identify that major test condition from that major test conditions you need to write the test cases okay so here let's take an example of gmail home page okay so here we are going to identify the test scenarios for gmail home page okay so here this is a gmail home page on the screen right so here we can identify three major test scenarios login validation right next here we have something called can't access your account option right next creating a new account in this page these are the three activities we can do it okay this is an example we can do more activities in this just to explain you the these are the three major conditions what i have done so this is test scenarios okay from here we'll write the test case that is the next to it first understand the requirements okay we are doing it in parts in parts right understand the requirements next understand the test scenarios write the test scenarios further test scenarios we'll be writing the test cases okay so here we have uh, taken one test test scenario one for the login validation isn't it for that we'll be writing the test cases so what are test cases how to write the test cases all these things we'll discuss in the course in this course the major part is for the test cases so practically we'll write the test cases as if now you need not to worry just understand the flow first functionality is understand next derive the test scenarios further test scenarios write the test cases okay after writing the test cases execute them okay if you execute it you will get the result either the test case is passed or failed if it is passed need not worry if it is failed then the problem comes okay yes if it is failed you are going to report it to the developer okay report the defect so developer will fix it again he will resend back to you right on that you need to perform retesting and regression testing if everything is fine you can close it okay all these topics we are going to discuss we are going to do it practically the one what i have said from the requirements analysis next what we do we'll write the test scenarios we'll write the test cases we'll execute it we'll report the defects we'll close the bug all these things i am going to show you practically in the course clear next so this overall uh, view these are the, your overall responsibility for 3 to 4 years of experience people these are the things what we are going to do and literally yes i am going to show you all this in the class